Hello and welcome to Babble of Girls. It's Knits, a Bellish vlog. So recently I had been contacted by Bellish, which is a knitting pattern app slash website that helps you design your own projects right from the comfort of your home, in your hand, on your iPad, on your laptop. They uh, do have everything for Apple at the moment. They're working on Android. Um, it's all knitting at the moment and they're getting crochet. So there's a lot of growth that's still happening with this app, but personally, since I really like my garments in knitwear, this works for me right now. Uh, but yeah, so this video is sponsored by Bellish, but all of the review pieces will be my own, as are all of the Bellish vlogs that I will be continuing to make over the next two weeks to include you in my Cyberman sweater journey. So excited. Okay, so today I'm drinking coffee. Uh, I have a Starbucks Pike Place at home, and the mug of the day is this really fun knit pattern. And uh, on the other side, it gives you the stitch. And then on the inside, it gives you how to do the stitch. I don't want to tilt it too far because it's still a little bit full. Mm. Coffee. Ah, oh, so good. I was looking all over for a Doctor Who mug and then I realized that the one that uh, Patrick and I had hand painted uh, to be an exploding TARDIS fell while I was teaching, shattered. My dad put it back together as best he could with all the pieces that I collected, and um, but it does not hold liquids. <laughs> it's not a coffee cup anymore because it's been put together by like super glue and things. But it is still a very nice memory and I'm glad that he was able to save it as much as he had. So what I've done already is I've chosen a yarn that I thought would be really nice for a Doctor Who sweater. Uh, it's a very classic bright blue, um, perhaps a bit brighter than the TARDIS itself has been recently, but I'm gonna go with it. So the yarn that I have chosen is Brava Sportweight. It is 273 yards per 100 grams. This particular one does call for anything from a three to a five, giving you about six stitches per inch. Now. I think I'm going to prefer to knit it on a six, which is what our pattern is going to call for. Um, but like a mad woman, I'm actually going to swatch for you. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is machine wash, tumble dry. Um, I really absolutely adore this color. It is just such a fantastic blue. And it is called Celestial which I thought would lend very well into my Cyberman sweater. Now, um, I did some stash diving and I found this really old one. Uh, this is a Simply Soft cake. I believe that's Caron. And uh, it has this kind of, you can see it, highlight right down the middle. It has a sheen to it. And I thought for something silver, like a Cyberman, that that would be a really good idea. So we're gonna go with that. Um, and it has a very, has a very nice contrast to the blue. Uh, that was something I was looking for. Yeah. So you can very easily see the picture that we're gonna make. Um, now, color work doesn't specifically come with the Bellish app. It does have stripes, it does have color blocking, it has uh, stitches that you can put on your sweaters. Um, it has a little bit of color work that I've seen like a little bit of a uh, two color color work, but to just design your own pattern, um, you might be better off with something like Stitch Fiddle. Uh, I know there's several others out there, but basically anything that allows you to color in the cubes. You can print graph paper at home and just get creative. Uh, for this, I am going to take the circumference of the chest, find out how many stitches I'm going to have on that, and then find out how many stitches the Cybermen need to be in order to fit in that purview. So um, that's my homework right now, is I'm going to go ahead and just get started right here. So I've pulled out my favorite needles. I have Chiagu with my cord, and I am going to attach sixes to them. Um, I have to say that 
uh, an interchangeable knitting needle set is not a requirement by any means, but it is one of the handiest things that I've ever owned. I've had this since 2018, um, after, <laughs> after I went to the hospital for my first MS diagnosis, um, I was having a bit of a pity party. <laughs> And I bought myself the, the needles because um, I, I felt I deserved it, and I did. And I have used them every single day since. Absolutely no regrets. So if you are thinking of saving up and buying a set, I know Knit Picks has several um, of either like wooden, metal. I can't really speak to their cords, but I know a lot of people have done reviews on that. So you can kind of listen and take that into consideration for yourself. Um, but I personally really love a Chiago cord because it is just so buttery and it never seems to hold that memory. You can see that it's nice and smooth, ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast on and do a gauge swatch. It says I need 22 stitches and 28 rows for four inches on a six. So we're going to see what I get on a six. I am a looser knitter. Um, and I will be purling in parts of this pattern. I believe uh, this upper panel and the back panel are knit flat. So they are gonna be back and forth. So there will be a little bit of purling. Um, I'm gonna do a swatch right now and we're gonna see how it goes. All right, so I have my swatch. Uh, it's not quite four inches tall, but it was at least two, maybe two and a half. So I was able to get a gauge off of this. I am getting about five stitches per inch, and I think I'm supposed to be getting six. Let's check back in with our pattern. Um, so I'm supposed to be getting 5.5 .5 stitches per inch. That's okay because I have a feeling that that half stitch is gonna come with blocking, so I'm not too concerned. I'm gonna go ahead with a US 6 and the Sportweight Brava uh, because right now I'm getting a pretty nice fabric. Stitches look very even, but there's still a lot of stretch, a lot of breathing room. It doesn't feel too tight. It feels like fabric that I could, I could continue to work with for a while. So I am going to frog this, reuse it, and cast on. Um, we're gonna start at the bottom of the sweater and then work our way up. So I am going to save that check-in for the next vlog and I'm going to go ahead and get this started for editing. And I am really excited to be on this little vlog journey with you. I hope that you are excited to see how this turns out and are considering downloading Bellish and checking it out for yourself. So I will catch up with you in the next vlog and I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>